100 garage owners, mechanics and apprentices attended an IMI Automotive event at Lincoln College recently for an update on the very latest innovations to hit the motor industry. Electric vehicle and autonomous technology were key topics of discussion during the evening, which aimed to help local independents gain a better understanding of new vehicle systems and innovations. It's so important that we get the uh, apprentices to understand what's going on and have an idea of what's happening in in vehicles and modern vehicles, and more importantly, that the, the bosses understand that so they can support them and in turn build their business as well. So it's really important that everybody comes together, uh, like you've seen tonight with all, all the guys here, to share knowledge and experience, really important. So we're looking at front end auxiliary drive, we're looking at primary drive, so we're looking at the timing chain system, the setup there, around the balance shaft, everything like that. We're also looking at the valve train system, um, not only variable valve timing, we're also looking at switchable valve timing, and we're also we have the Unier system, which is infinitely variable valve timing, valve lift, and valve duration. ZF is one of the kind of world leaders with hybrid technologies. Uh, some of the big customers, Paul Porsche, Jaguar and Land Rover, BMW uh, are all using the ZF systems. Uh, because we're researching and developing these systems along with the OE manufacturers, of course we have a lot of information about how these technologies work. What you can do, what you can't do, what levels of training you need to work with them. Um, and that's really our role at the moment is to try and prepare the market for what's coming. We all thought oh, it would be, it's going to happen, it's going to happen, but it is going to happen. And obviously, you've got to you've got to decide whether you're going to be part of it. Sure. And you know, realistically, if anybody does put their head in the sand, they're being silly. You've got to look at it realistically and say yes or no. It'd be nice to invest in it, but obviously, you've got to look to the future and say, do, are you going to make it profitable? At the end of the day, it's a business, so you've got to you've got to do the sums. Technology advances are absolutely so fast, it's incredible, and I think it's going to get faster over the next few years. With autonomous vehicles, hybrid electrics, more terabytes of data required to drive a level 4 vehicle autonomously than it is um, to fly an Airbus A380 across the Atlantic. With reports of an industry skills shortage, the evening also prompted discussions about the future of the industry for the next generation of mechanics and garage owners. Mechanics are still seen as a, a lower level skills so if they're not academic they're being forced down the, the road of either construction brickwork uh, or mechanics uh, which is really quite scary um, you've seen yourself from tonight the the innovations that's going on with vehicles and the technology in vehicles and the computer power that's needed just to start one up let alone run one on the road it's becoming a very high end academic uh, qualification hopefully now the industry will get the rewards that it deserves because for years the mechanics have not been paid in line with other industries and professions and I think it's about time that the motor industry charged accordingly. Thanks for watching. Head to garagewire.co.uk to keep up to date with the latest industry news and opinions.